All right, take 14. We've been at this for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So this gonna, is the one. This is the one. Mm -hmm. This is this is kind of what Jacksonville said going into their matchup with Alexandria. This is it. Mm -hmm. And they made a statement. They did make yeah, a statement. Picked up a big win last week against uh, Trinity, and they followed up that with a win against Rival Alexandria, who was ranked third in, in Class 5A. So Nico Richmond, 273 all-purpose yards, a couple of touchdowns. And the Golden Eagle defense looked pretty good, you know, handling that. Alexandria's, you know, pretty tough physical run game, but you know, Keenan Woodruff still got off a couple of big runs. So, you know, but it was a big win for big win for Jacksonville. And, you know, I think I think Alexandria's a good team too. I think Jacksonville's for real this year and Alexandria will go on and win a lot of games. Right. I mean these two and oh through before even this region play even starts helps them when it comes to playoffs. Same thing with Weaver who goes two and on the season tonight. After when it gets BB Coleman, but I was at Weber and Sachs, which I mean, it was kind of iffy the first half and a little bit of the third quarter until Rodney Reddick put Sachs ahead early in the fourth quarter before Austin McQueen went Steve McQueen and put the Panthers ahead in the closing 20 seconds to give the Panthers a win going into Pleasant Valley next week. And the Raiders won again tonight. Tell yeah. us yeah. what you know about the Raiders. Yeah, team. that was a big, you know, 30 to 14 over Gas since they guess them at 2 and 0. Ohatchee picked up another big win, 68 to 14 over White Plains. Oxford goes on the road and beats Class 7 at Gaston City. That one really stands yeah. out to me. I think, like we talked about Jacksonville earlier, I think the Yellow Jackets are for real this season. They have a lot of playmakers. Obviously, everybody's talking about KJ, but A. Peoples is doing things, Jake PV, et cetera. Watch out for them. Aniston lost their quarterback last week, but they bounced. You know, they, they persevered through it, you know, but they lost 36 35 in double overtime to Silicaga. So. But you know, I think you know that's a that's a you know quality loss, I guess you'd say against Anderson, and they could you know they could bounce back and, and when region play gets going, right? Um, Piedmont thirty five twenty one over Cherokee County, so another good win for for the Bulldogs. Um, Leeds thirty three eighteen um, over Cleveland County, tough night for the Tigers, but they you know played pretty well in the first half and they had their chances in that game, so you take that and move it forward, you know, as they hit into region play also, especially with that strength of schedule for the Tigers. Yeah, you know, Spring Garden forty seven twelve over Beulah. Jacksonville Christian 42-13 over Wattsburg Christian, and then Donahoe took a tough loss to Horseshoe Bend, but you know the Falcons, uh, Falcons can bounce back from that. All right, uh, 28 seconds left. Biggest impression tonight? Uh, just Jacksonville, you know, making a statement like they did. You know, I think, you know, there, there's big things ahead for them. They get into region play this week against Sacks, and I think, you know, they're gonna they're looking to make more statements this year. Right. Uh, me personally, I it's hard to avoid what Weaver's done thus far, but Oxford. Maybe a little bit. That's a good win for him. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'll, I'll leave it at that. And we'll leave it here and see you guys next week.